Oh my goodness. Good morning everyone, this is Vic Lee. We're out here in Markham today and I just landed not too long ago. I was from Ottawa, came over here just to try the food and uh, we're gonna go to grab some quick uh, Hong Kong style breakfast for you guys. It's gonna be a very exciting day. I'm excited to actually try lots of good food for you guys. So yes, stay tuned. I'm also with my cousin today, Ed, who's with me today, who's gonna be so the first restaurant today we're going to is called Phoenix Restaurant. You've probably seen this on my old vlogs, but uh, I love this place. They have a really good breakfast and of course their steak and eggs are to die for. This is a nice fresh hot milk tea that comes with it, original Hong Kong style. Oh, nice, rich, fragrant milk tea. We're gonna add more sugar inside because it's actually very strong and bold. It's not sweet at all. Thank you. Two fried eggs, steak, gravy, and a little bit of uh, veggies, veggies on the side. All of this. Eight dollars Canadian, which is around five fifty, five seventy five US. A bar of toast, eggs as well too. One bite right there. Steak with gravy. Grab more of that toast. Get that steak. Put some of that uh, seasoned really well eggs as well too. Now you have yourself a bite that you need right here at Phoenix Restaurant. Mm. It's so good. And, uh, the gravy goes on top of it. It's almost like a, a steak gravy sauce. The eggs are cooked it just right, over easy. And then the butter toast. The butter toast actually makes it the star of the show. Hong Kong style breakfast. Oh yeah, that is, the steak is amazing. Delicious rice round gravy steak right there. Oh yeah, I love that steak. Food was great. I love the steak and eggs over there at the Phoenix restaurant. Uh, it's early morning hours right now. It's ten right now. We might go check in at the at the hotel. Uh, freshen up really quick and then we'll be on our way to the first Markham Plaza Grab some food and there's a food court over there. We'll check it out for you guys and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later Now when you're in Markham First Markham Plaza is definitely a place that you want to go to first It's a shopping center plus food court, but the food court is huge Tons of selections for you guys to go check it out and uh, I'm gonna go inside right now explore the place for you guys show you guys what around and uh, hopefully we'll have some good food. Last time I came here, the very last time I came here, extra barbecue house is what I had, and then the KS barbecue. There was a long line here last time, and there was no line here next time. Now the line is longer than here than before. So which makes me think that the food is now better here. Go to the long line. The number eight, which is the roast duck and roast pork. Or I might be getting the barbecue pork and roast pork. Or I could be getting the number 16, which has all three items as well too. 
So I also picked up a, the Hainese chicken, which is right there. Uh, from Malai Thai famous cuisine. They are famous for the Hainese chicken. Very delicious chicken. Can't wait to try it out. So anyways, I got two items here, which is uh, one is from the K barbecue. The other one is actually from the Malai Thai cuisine. The K barbecue is actually very famous here. <laughs> I'll open this right now. Check it out, guys. So you have the barbecue pork char siu. You have the roast duck. You also have the the roast pig. Three items, essential items, uh, seven fifty Canadian. So I wish uh, around like six dollars US, six fifty. Not too bad. A lot of food for it too. Let's give us a try really quick. So you see that succulent char siu. Juicy it is. They pour that juice on top of it, and it's very very juicy. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, the char siu, it's very tender, cooked just right, and it's completely caramelized. Very, very tasty, very good. You see the red skin on top of it? That's because it's like the char siu sauce. The char siu sauce is actually what makes it red on the outside, and inside has a nice gold, a nice, uh, pork color so it's very 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 tasty once it's all done said and done one of the most essential items in, uh, in Chinese barbecue is uh, the char siu oh yeah definitely grab this the char siu so now what we have the center point is the roast duck now the roast duck is something I love to eat often at home definitely one of uh, Chinese comfort food is the roast duck you see how sizzling, glistening the skin is on the roast duck? Let's look at this really quick. You see that? Yeah. That's this bathing on that sauce, that roast duck sauce. That gives you comes with it. It's been cooked for hours and hours. And it should come out. The skin should be nice and crispy. The meat should be nice and tender as well too. The sauce, the duck sauce actually covers the whole entire thing. Let's give it a try. Wow, that roast duck is amazing. The skin, the skin is very silky smooth. Very, very silky. It's smooth, it's so super smooth. The meat as well, the duck, the roast duck, the meat is so soft. And it's, it's flavored so well. It had the duck, nice duck flavor. It's a uh, little saltiness to it. Uh, a little bit oily at the same time but it goes so well with the rice this is something that you must get get nice silky smooth you see how smooth that uh, skin is oh yeah it's glistening you see the juice coming out of it the juice is actually very amazing too it has a little fat content as well. it's actually a young duck you can tell right away because it's a small it's a small size duck it's a young duck mm. Oh my god, that duck, this mind-blowing duck. That's one, probably one of the best duck I've ever had. This is the one like a young duck. Um, this is definitely a must get. Get the roast duck. I actually like the roast duck more than the char siu in this, in this plate right here. The succulent, juicy roast pork. It looks as good as it looks too. Let's give it a try. Actually, you see that skin? That perfectly the skin should be nice and crispy. You have the nice fatty content of the pork. You have the bottom end of it, the burnt part of it. That's why people love roast pork because there's three textures to it. Crispy skin, fatty content, of the, fatty, the fattiness of it, the meat, and then the bottom part, the chard of it. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. This roast pork is absolutely mind-blowing, amazing. This is probably one of the most tastiest roast pork I ever had in Markham. Wow. Let's try the bottom end of it. Wow. The bottom part of the roast pork, tasty as well, but the skin, 
the skin of the roast pork. You guys see the skin of it? Super detailed. See the crispiness of it? Very important that you have a nice roast skin. This right here. It's crispy, crunchy roast skin. Wow. That roast skin. What do you do? I'm going to chase it, chase it with some rice. This right here. One of my favorite items right here. The roast pork. So I definitely recommend get the roast pork. Second will be the roast duck and then the char siu. And first, the third, for as what you want to get first, get this one first. If you have picked two, roast pork and roast duck first. And the char siu will be last. The char siu is good. Uh, I, 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 I do have better before. Uh, it is pretty good though, it is still worth getting. I mean, I had better well, char siu. But uh, roast pork is amazing, the roast duck is definitely amazing. Two of these I definitely recommend getting for next time. Yeah. So what we have next is the Hayamese chicken for Malai Thai cuisine. Check it out guys. So what we have in here? We have the uh, Hayamese rice with the, uh, the, the, the Hayamese chicken as well too. It comes with the serving sauce. And the soy sauce, I believe this is a soy sauce base right here. Oh yeah, this is amazing. This is actually what I came here for too. I've been looking for a place that actually has high anise chicken and this place serves it. I'm gonna try the rice really quick first. See how the, how the rice is. Oh yeah, high anise rice is cooked it with the, the chicken stock. They cook the chicken first, they dump the chicken stock into the rice season it and then this is how it comes out nice yellow rice very delicious rice okay yeah uh, the sauce right here the sauce the high meat sauce and they also have some of that uh i think there's like a soy sauce base so i'm not gonna use this though so i'll put this on the side let's try the uh the high meat sauce right here okay. so what we have here is that chicken the nice delicious malaysian style chicken uh, now Malay, uh high meat chicken was uh originated from Malaysia but countries like uh, Vietnam as well too countries like Singapore even not now the states are now serving this chicken is a very special delicacy nice glazing glistening juicy chicken I love the skin part of this though the skin part is amazing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it into this uh, the sauce the honey sauce it's like a spicy garlic with a sourness to it of the sauce that goes with the chicken let's, let's give it a try Ooh. The sauce has a kick to it. Spicy. Yeah. Just dip a little bit of it. Ooh. Wow. That sauce. Spicy and sour. Spicy, sour, and lots of garlic flavor to it. If I was to use this sauce right here, dip this a little bit. Don't overdo it because this sauce is actually overpowering the chicken. Oh yeah. Chicken is very juicy. It's uh, very fresh too. Not complaining about the chicken. Chicken is actually very perfect. Get that chicken in there. Oh yeah. Let's try it really quick. Oh my god. And then, you need that chicken. You chase it with the rice. That goes with it. Mmm. That is good. That is good. Let me see here. Got some of that sauce. Some of that, uh, yeah, it's like a soy sauce. Put that into the uh, little rice right there. Maybe some a little bit on that chicken. And see how that tastes like. It's right here. Oh yeah, you know what? I see soy sauce. Actually, goes very well with the chicken and a little bit of rice with the soy sauce. Oh yeah, soy sauce with the high needs chicken. Actually, tastes really good too. Very good too. Honestly, I prefer the soy sauce over the uh, the the house special sauce. This sauce is, to me, is a little bit overpowering. It's 
little bit too spicy and uh, the garlic flavor is overwhelming and it's very sour. There should be like a little sourish to it, but also balanced as well. But this is overpowering sauce. So for this dish, use the soy sauce to dip onto the chicken. Then I actually forgot to mention that the K Barbecue Egg Place actually comes with a cup of nice fresh soy milk. As part as a combo. Mmm. Yeah, nice fresh soy milk. I definitely like that. A little bit sweet. Soy flavor, soybean flavor. Very smooth, refreshing as well too. After a, a nice fatty meal, this actually works really perfect. Anyways, that's it for First Rock in Plaza. The food was great here. I like the Chinese chicken. The roast pork and duck and chassi was uh, pretty good as well too. Great food court here. A big food court here. Lots of good food for you guys to go check out if you want to go check out the food here. Um, so anyways, tonight, I'm going to go home, uh, back into the hotel, rest up a little bit. And then most likely gonna go try out to uh, head up to uh, New Kennedy Square, try some uh, beef beef noodle soup for you guys to check out. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for that to try that too. Anyways, we're now stopping by Pacific Mall. You guys know Pacific Mall, Monster Food Court. Uh, lots of stuff inside, lots of items inside, accessories if you need it as well too. Want to stop by there really quick? Maybe grab a little something? Who knows? We're gonna go outside right now and check it out. Uh, so I'm here at Foodie Boy, world's most famous Hong Kong tea, milk tea. And I'm here with uh, see a good friend of mine. Oh, yes, I need a Yum. Anyways, we are here at the Foodie Boy place right here. The Foodie Boy is known for the best milk tea there is in all of Canada. This brew just right. Uh, it also has amazing flavor. The tea leaves brew perfectly. The milk, the flavor is on point and uh, they don't water down anything guys. Yeah, perfect style milk tea. Definitely amazing. The owners here are in the mid 70s, early 80s. They don't want to retire because customers make them happy. So yeah, they had to support these guys, small business guys, and uh, definitely come here to the Pacific Mall just for them, just for that. Okay, that's all. Okay, bye bye. See you next time. See you next time. Okay. So I'm here at this place called Papa Chan's Express and one thing actually caught my attention is, is the uh, fish skewer. Now I've never had a fish in a skewer before and I had some of the spicy mayo, some kind of sauce as well too. Something very exciting that I actually want to try. Thank you. With the spicy mayo, uh, the wasabi mayo, maybe tartar sauce, a little bit of seaweed action going on and it's deep fried. Almost looks like a shrimp tempura. Oh, wow. Mmm, I like that. I like this a lot. I really do like this a lot. Mmm. This is great. If you like fish, if you like deep fried, this is perfect. This, is, this has a kind of a very Japanese style feel to it, as far as with the wasabi mayo on top of it. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Really crispy outside. Outside is very crunchy. The fish inside is very soft. Um, got that nice fish flavor. And then with the wasabi mayo, the tartar sauce, just makes this even better. It counterbalances everything. And it's a very tasty treat, very tasty.
Oh yeah. This must be here. This is definitely a must get here at Papa Chan Express. But yeah, the food court there. Into final location, which is called Big Beef Bowl for some hand pulled noodles. Amazing hand pulled noodles, some braised beef. Something very special here, here at the new Kennedy Square Plaza. Anyways, I ordered the braised beef beef no soup, steaming hot, just came right out. Looks like I had some daikon, braised beef, a little bit of the green onions, scallions. The noodles are thick as a can be. very thick, it's firm, nice chew to it, it's not overcooked, uh, braised beef right here, wow, the braised beef, very tender, very tender, this stuff that's actually just melts in your mouth, wow, mm. do you want to say, this is one of the most tender braised beef I've ever had in my life. Cheers to you guys. Mm. Very good. Dude, I love, I love this plaza. I really do. This is an amazing plaza here. That's my cousin right there, Ed. Cool dude. Well guys, that meal was great. Those thick long noodles, those big, big bowl beef noodle soup. Amazing, definitely a place to go check out at Loose Candy Square out here in Markham. So, of course, I'm gonna end the night, go grab some milk tea for you guys. I'm actually craving for some brown sugar milk, no tea today. So, we're off to the alley. <laughs> no tea in this, this is a uh, fresh milk with their special brown sugar and of course they're bubble. So basically, what you have to do is shake it first. You wanna shake it. And actually, the bottom is actually pretty hot. Uh, the fresh brown sugar, they did actually just melt it. And of course, poke it inside. Cheers to you guys. Oh, wow. Nice. Subtle brown sugar is not too hot, it's not too sweet. I mean, it's not too sweet. Some brown sugar gets very overpowering, but this brown sugar right here with the milk is actually just perfect. Oh, yeah, go to the alley, this is Markham as well, too. Definitely worth it. Cheers to you. So guys, this ends this epic bar camp tour, video, food video tour. I hope you guys enjoy it. Had an amazing time. Lots of good food from start to finish. I hope you guys actually like it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to share it if you have, with your friends as well too. And uh, yes, Toronto has been amazing to me. Bar camp has been amazing to me. And I hope to come back next year and do it again. Yeah, so yes, I'm signing off right now. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.